Hello world, this is Stefan of Lundgren Games. In this video I'll show you how to move your character with a click in the simplest way that I know how. Now your ingredient list for this in terms of nodes is a kinematic body 2D and an attached image. I have the sprite sheet for this minotaur down in the description. I also have a collision shape 2D to keep the kinematic body 2D happy. The collision shape is unhappy, but at this point, we're not yet concerned with that. Another thing we'll need is in the project settings, we go to the input map and we'll be adding an input map title for the left mouse button. I'm just keeping with the naming convention for this. And all right. And now we kinematic body 2D, move it down to here. And already we have problems. What's going to happen is I'll say I'm going to want this guy to move to the right a bit. What's going to happen is that the kinematic body 2D will move to where I click and I will be utterly confused. So instead of moving him around, we just need to click on the kinematic body 2D where the sprite isn't. So now that the sprite isn't anywhere anymore, we move this, turn the eye back on, and voila, we have them right where we want them. And uh, yeah, that is exactly what happened to me before. <laughs> so now we attach a script to the kinematic body 2D load. Now let's set up some variables. Where are we going? Equals destination equals vector two. Uh, what's the distance between where we're going and where we are? Two. Oh yeah, this is a variable. <laughs> what the? Oh. Okay. And now variable speed, how fast we are getting there. We'll fill that in later. All right, now funk ready. Okay, we're just going to set our speed. This, it's a common default going 100 pixels per second. And also, at the beginning, we're declaring that we are declaring that we are where we are going. <laughs> we, yeah. All right. Let's just set up our other funks. Ah. Uh. 
Ah, there. Input event. Indented blankets. Whatever. All right. If input dot is action pressed UI click and we put it in there as a string because we're saying the title all right and my typing is a bit sloppy Oh yeah. Colon <laughs> destination equals get global mouse position. All right. If position does not equal destination, and I keep saying destination, I keep typing that, I don't know why. All right. Get equals vector two minus position. And move and then we move and slide. Gap dot normalized and speed. All right, so what we're saying is moving the character, the uh, normalized, it's a, uh, we keep the slope, we keep the direction but set magnitude to one. I'll do a demonstration on why later. And then we multiply, and then we multiply it by the speed. So then it'll always be the slope. This, it's a direction going at 100 pixels per second. All right. Now that we have it going, Oh yeah. Let's do what happens when we get there. If this destination equals position. Move and slide. I'm just using gap as a default vector too. <laughs> and we're going in that direction zero miles an hour. <laughs> because I don't I don't know for certain if there's any designated stop function or stop class programming code, whatever. So I'm just going move at zero miles an hour, which is effective. And now we're going to do if we get close, if gap.absolute, basically if, uh, because when you subtract the destination and the position, it's not always going to be, we're not concerned on whether it's a positive or negative number. We just care that the number exists at all. 
So we're switching it all to absolute values to make uh, f factoring in the number a little easier. Is less than vector two one one. And I keep forgetting that colon. Set position destination. All right, so basically when we get close when we get when we get within a certain margin for error we just yeah yeah there when we get within margin for error we just snap it there all right let's see how this goes Oh, of course. Forgot to capitalize. <laughs> there. And now we have it sliding along merrily as can be. Now, as for... Here's to show you why we use the normalize function. Here's for long distance going regular. Here's what happened if we don't normalize. It, uh, uh, well, that's a bit of a bad example, <laughs> but, oh yeah, you can, well, normal, yeah, it's a, without the normalization, the farther away the destination is, the faster he's going, the closer he is, the slower he's going. because the distance is adding into that vector, too. And that's it. <laughs> Go make your uh, hack and slasher real-time strategy gamer, whatever you're making, and good luck. <laughs>